All right, big data, big analytics, big opportunity. I'm going to talk to you today about our technology and how it's going to enable you to build your business partners as well as adding customers. And I, there's a saying here at the bottom, stay on the technology wave or be crushed by it. I'm, I'm an old surfer, so you kind of use what you know. And, and one of the things that, you know, it's very important to understand, you talked about, you could hear everything that Mark talked about on stage about the technology, and Steve before that talking about all the mobile. Technology is huge and a huge investment for Mark and American, and we always want to stay on the edge, right? So big data, big analytics, personalization. I'm going to talk about APIs and something that's really, uh, really core to me, which is the affiliate publisher network about affiliate marketing. We're actually using those RPIs to build and to tap into that market, and it's something you can do. You don't even have to be technical. You can use it. The purpose of computing is insight, not numbers. Now, this is a powerful quote, and it was from a man named Richard Hamming, and he's the father of information theory, and he actually said it in 1961. So the concept of using computers to get insight and drive action isn't, isn't new. There's another saying that I'd like to, to quote from, and this is also from uh, J.R. Reidinger, the father of Market America, and he said this in 1984, okay? Years before Market America. He said, computer marketing is the coming thing, and in five years, computers will be as prevalent as phones in people's homes. He also said, distributors computerize, forming a database and getting them to order electronically, and the next step is setting up customers. This is the article, it's from 1984, and think about this. Computers network together, ordering online, and databases of UFOs and customers, right? And he said this in 1984. That's nine years before the first public web browser. Nine years. And think about this. It was several years after that before we even had e-commerce. All right, so the idea here is using systems and information to drive insight and actions. It's not new. What is new is our ability to, to really take this insight from all the data we collect and do something with it, make some great decisions. We are big data, folks. Mark covered this too. He's talked about 52 million products. 200 million attributes, 35 plus hundred stores and feeds, tens and tens of millions of page views. We've got billions of search. We do millions and millions of searches a day. We track UFO to UFO, customer to UFO, customer to customer. And we do this in multiple languages and in multiple countries. And we get this data from everywhere. And this is really important because what I'm going to show you will build your shopping annuity. It also will build your market share, your, your customer growth. All right. These are the categories that we use for orders, um, for, for big data. Orders and shopping annuity, right? Customer order history. We have a lot of information about our customers. We see what they're ordering, right, from all our sites. We also have the shopping and new assessment. Is that a wonderful thing that, that Steve showed you, the app? It's amazing, right? And you're telling us what you're already spending, right? And your, your business partners and your customers, what we're already spending and what categories, right? So we're using that information. Another piece is site analytics. And this is really important. So, you know, Mark talked about improving all the time. We have to improve. Well, so we understand what are people searching for? Where are they located? What, are, where are they, what kind of system are they using? Are they using a tablet, a phone? And how much time are they spending on the site? And then we have uh, user experience. I know experience starts with an E, by the way, but that's kind of, we, we technical people like to do this, UX, user experience analytics. How we're interacting with the site. What are they clicking on on our site? Is it easy for them to check out and navigate through our site? And then other data that we pull in, demographic information, age, gender, median incomes and locations of people, lifestyle marketing, what is hot? What products are hot, right? Lifestyle brands that are hot and doing segmentation. All this enables big data and information. So 
Insight is enabled by datafying events that used to be impossible. I'm going to have a little fun with this one. I'm going to show you what datafying means, because it's not really a real word. That's why it's in quotes. We're going to look at JR in 1984 versus 2016 JR. All right? So we want to know, where did he go? Right? Where, where did he go? He was very successful. What, what did he buy? What activities did he do? Well, in 1984, JR, we'd have to uh, get a paper and pen and follow him around and say, JR, what did you do today? And follow him around, right? If we wanted to know what he bought, we'd have to uh, get a copy of his receipts. Right? Maybe ditto in those days. Right? So, right, today, 2016 JR, he can just say, here, here's my phone, right? Because in the phone, well, you've got a GPS. Pull it out, right? It's all right here. And he can tell you where he was, what pictures he took, location, right? What he purchased on shop.com, we can, we can have that information. Now, the exciting part about this is not looking at just one individual, a very important individual. I mean, not just one individual. We're talking about looking at groups of people. I can look at millions of people, and now I can define trends. Think about doing a million people in 1984. It wasn't possible, right? So I can see trends. This is the kind of thing we're doing now that I was unable to do. This is datafying events, right? This is actually shop.com. I took this a week ago. It was a real-time look at seven days. Those big columns are like home page, product page, all those pages that Mark said are critical, because these are the pages that people are landing on. And what you see, it looks like a spider web here of all that information, um, is where people are going. You see the big tranches where people go, right? But there's a lot of small places. And I want to know if people getting lost on my site, right? Are people, how are they doing this? I can do this for motives. I can do this for shop. I can do this for all our sites. Now, on the left side, well, my left side, my, your left side, um, you'll see a lot of information. And the great thing about this is I can look at the last seven days. I, this is in real time as well. I can last, look at the last 30 days. I can look at people who came to the site, added something to the cart, and left. I can look at people who uh, purchased before and now are coming back. So I can segment, segment all these customers and understanding what they're doing on our website in ways I couldn't do before, right? It's an amazing amount of information. So think about this. We take all this information. People are searching on shop.com, shopping assessment, right? All this information. And we're building, like you saw, we're building packages so that you can order easily. We're, we're making personalizations to make it easier for your customers. See, big data is an enabler to give you a personalized experience for your customers, to make lookers into buyers, and to build that shopping annuity. And this is personalized shop.com, right? The old look and the new look. The new look will change depending on what your affinity is, the affinity being what you're into. Whatever, you know, so if you are into health and nutrition, we'll show more of that. If you're into fitness, we'll show more of that. And that's what we're really about. By the way, I always like to use this analogy in New York Times. New York Times is great paper, right? If I bought the New York Times in Los Angeles, I get the New York Times. If I buy it in New York, it's the New York Times. If I buy it in Denver, it's the New York Times. And it doesn't change, right? We can't be that. We can't be a newspaper. What we need to do is we have to change our look and feel, our sight, for every individual. It's custom to individuals. So how does this all work? What ties this all together? Well, I'm going to talk about APIs. And the reason I'm going to talk about APIs is because it's, I think it's important for you to understand how this all works. And by the way, as far as APIs go, I'm going to show you how you can use them to build your business and add customers and business partners. And you don't have to be technical to do it. And I'll show you that, because that's about the affiliate publisher network Okay, APIs. What are APIs? Well, they connect things together, right? We know that. We can actually take them for granted. If you use um, an iPad or a phone, you've used the APIs. They connect you to the world. And how do they do that? By connecting systems and computers together. 
How do they work? How does information get from here to there, to applications and devices, right? How does that happen? It is application programming interface. And again, what it really is, is the gears that make the internet run. In the last several years, we've made huge investments in APIs. Our system is API driven, and we use them to build and grow our business. So what is an API? Well, actually, it's pretty simple. It's like a messenger. It takes information from one system, sends it over to another system, gets information, and sends it back. So I'll give you a real world scenario. A restaurant, OK, a restaurant. So you're sitting at a restaurant, and you want to order food, right? And you want to get the stuff you've ordered from the menu to the kitchen and back to your table. Well, a waiter is the messenger. He takes your order. He goes to the kitchen. They fulfill the order. That's the request. There's the response. And it comes back to you, right? Your food. It's really that simple. Request, response. And that's really what APIs at the basis really are, and that's what they do. On shop.com and all our websites, we use APIs for everything, all right? If you've used a computer and used shop.com or one of our apps, you've used APIs. The thing I want to draw your attention to is the bottom right, the affiliate publisher. We're using APIs to extend our business in affiliate marketing. And we're, we've launched this program already. There's a breakout tomorrow at 8.30. Um, we're going to touch on later. But it's exciting because you can actually use APIs to grow your business, business partners and customers. If you don't know what affiliate marketing is, let me tell you. It's a huge, huge business. So if you've ever been on a website, and you've seen either an ad or a product, and you've clicked that, and you go to a different website to buy it, that's affiliate marketing. Think of it this way, too. Um, you're on shop.com. You see something, you click and you go to Kmart, and you buy it on Kmart, right? That's us affiliate marketing. We get a little bit of uh, for the successful transaction, and what would we do? We give that to you back in IBV, BV, and cash back, all right? That's how it works. Now, the beautiful thing about this is we're going to uh, make this so that you can do this yourself. And again, you don't need to be technical. Let me kind of play out how it works. So you're an franchise owner, and you are on shop.com, and you have customers. There's an affiliate marketer. They have a blog. They have a following, right? Or maybe they have a cupcake uh, business, a small business partner. So they have a following. What we need to do is have that affiliate marketer create new customers for you. So what happens is their followers see an ad or a product, they click to it, they go to shop.com, right? You have a new customer, you have IBV, it's yours, right? We pay them, the affiliate marketer, a small amount for the successful transaction. Here's a real world scenario. This is a cupcake uh, company. Uh, cupcakes by Evelyn. She's a small business owner, and uh, she sells a lot of cupcakes. Now, she had a website, has a website, and she wants to make extra money from that website. So what does she do? She actually has ads, and it's not playing, but that's okay. There's ads, on the, it's not ads in the bottom, it's actually products at the bottom here. Let's see if we can play this. Nope. That's all right. There were some, uh, I'll show you that later. <laughs> Come to the breakout and I'll show you how that works. But there are products that are uh, from a Market America's products, and, and what we did is we pulled in the, the baked goods category. And the, they're, they're, they show up, and the customer clicks on them and takes you right to shop.com. It's your customer, your order, right? If you want to learn more about this, go to developer.shop.com. You can learn, explore, discuss all information about the, the whole process. And again, you do not need to be technical to use this, OK? This is, it, you, if you know a developer, great. If you don't, we'll have a list of developers for you. 
Um, but if affiliate marketers will know how to do this. This is all standard uh, services and restful services and so forth. Uh, very easy to use, but here it is. I just want to say, come to the breakout, learn more about this. API technology and digital marketing, Riverfront Central, 830. I'll be there. Eugene Wallace will be there. He's a great presenter. And Paul Dumas, who's our API evangelist, will be there. Thank you very much.